20 times One Piece predicted the future. These are the 20 times when One Piece predicted the future. We were too dumb to understand how well Oda was crafting this masterpiece. And I'm pretty sure that many of us still don't know about these details. These moments will surely have you smashing your head against the wall. So stay till the end of the video and make sure not to pass out. We'll be beginning with none other than God Usopp. We've all laughed at when he told those made-up stories to Kaya back in Season 1. Well, Hoda made a laughing stock out of us when he almost made every story of his an actual part of One Piece. Remember the time when he told Kanya about the giant goldfish and that he mistook the fish's poop for a dang island? Yeah, it did happen in the little garden arc when Dari and Bragi killed a big ass goldfish. Another story of his was saving a blue whale which happened when the Straw Hats entered the Grand Line and came across Laboon, an island of dwarves? We kept laughing while Oda kept cooking us way ahead in Dress Rosa, we really did come across a kingdom of small people. Oda really backed to Sop's words, but we'll now talk about his ability to give hints way before an event actually takes place. For instance, take Ace. He was the captain of Spades Pirates and, well, Ace of the Spades is the card of death. And this was revealed in a cover photo of chapter 520, which was 50 chapters before Ace died. We can see Luffy holding the card and making a face similar to the one he did when Ace died. Speaking of face, how can we forget about Sabo? I'll only say that we didn't even know that he existed and Oda was already dropping hints about him as can be seen from the time when Luffy was about to be executed in Log Town. In the panel, we see a guy wearing all black and a tall hat which is what Sabo usually wears. The appearance of Dragon, Luffy's father, in Log Town further strengthened the hints about Sabo because he was part of the revolutionary army with Dragon being the leader. Remember when Robin joined the revolutionaries after Kuma whopped the crew in Sabuati? Yes, that. Well, anyway, we can see Robin holding images of islands, which would probably depict the ones the Straw Hats would visit next. An island of candies and sweets. Yep, that's a whole cake island. Moving on to Mr. Prince. Yes, our boy Sanji gave us a hint of his royalty not only once, but twice. And it dates back to the Arabasta arc, when he went undercover with the name Mr. Prince. He also told the crew that he came from North Blue, and you couldn't come from the north to the east without the use of the latest technology, which was, as we all know, Jerma's feet. His wanted posters had only a live written on them, and it was revealed in the whole cake arc that Sanji was a Jerma Prince. Whole cake arc reminded me of Lola, who's the daughter of Big Mom. If you go down memory lane, you remember that she helped Nami in Thriller Bark and gave her a Vivra card while stating that if you needed any help, you may contact my mom. The mom in question? The Yonko Big Mom. No one expected that such a little detail would lead us to one of the most prominent figures of the series. And you'll be surprised to know that Luffy had already foreshadowed that they would meet Brooke here in Thriller Bark. It was when the ugly mermaid from Water 7 told him that Thriller Bark had ghosts. Luffy got excited and said, We'll get to meet living skeletons there! Yeah, the living skeleton was none other than Brooke. Now, we'll take a moment to appreciate the genius of Oda. Like he manages to surprise us almost every time, as the revelation I'm about to tell you now will really make you lose sleep. If you take a look at the cover photo of Volume 25, it had Shanks, Luffy, Buggy, and Blackbird on it, which would make no sense whatsoever at that time, but what if you see it now? They are the current four emperors of the sea! I mean, the theorists would certainly guess, but man, Oda knew what he was doing! Keeping cover art in mind, I bring you to yet another cover from chapter 310, where we see Robin, Usopp, and Luffy dressed up the samurai and the dragon behind them is pink. And you know which dragon is pink in the show, right? As much as I hate this kid, it is Momonosuke. And by the time the cover was released, there was to be no sign of Momo for I guess 300 more chapters at least. Another foreshadowing that is related to Momo was when he told everyone in So that he had met with Goldie Roger. While everyone was in disbelief and putting it off as a stupid pervy kid baffling, this came true in 2021 when it was revealed that Momo was actually a time traveler who was sent 20 years ahead in time by his mother. So it was confirmed that he had really met with Roger when he was little. Many of you won't be aware of the One Piece special that came out in 2006, so don't stress on it. Neither was I. 
Anyway, we see that in that episode, the Straw Hats are shown as mythical creatures. You must be wondering what the interesting thing is here. Well, let me explain. Luffy was shown as a dragon. Dragon? Does it ring a bell? If not, then note that the very next year, Luffy's dad was introduced to the One Piece fans, and y'all know the name, right? It's Monkey D. Dragon. Coming back to Sabuari, we saw the crew in an auction house, which leads us to this very epic moment, as it was the first appearance of Silver's Ray-like. We didn't know at this time that he was Roger's first mate, but it was hinted at by Oda in the very beginning, when the person who broke the fighting between Shanks and Buggy was none other than Rayleigh. So we were being given hints all along, but we were too blind to see. The failure of the auction house was reported to Doflamingo, who owned the place and was responsible for selling innocent lives. But the thing to notice here was that Doflamingo said with a cheeky smile that it's the age of smiles. The theorists at that time didn't know much of what to make of it, but fast forward to Wano and we actually knew what smiles he was talking about. Smile is an artificial devil fruit that gives you random powers and they are not so very lethal, but it makes a person stronger than an average one and the whole of Kaido's army consisted of smile devil fruit users. Back in the auction house, Rayleigh said that the straw hat suits Luffy because he was fearless, and we thought that Rayleigh was linking it to Shanks because he was the previous owner, but we were very wrong. He was actually linking it back to Roger, who can also be seen wearing the hat when he first came to Rayleigh. Oda just might be the king of foreshadowing, as this time around, he just foreshadowed Luffy's Gear 5. Everyone thought that it was just introduced to defeat Kaido and called it crappy riding, but <laughs> No, a manga panel showed the same Gear 5 post when Luffy was partying with the wolves and Oda even calls it his favorite panel. Many other hints have also been given throughout the anime about Luffy's Gear 5. Now in episode 5, you will see Luffy talking with a dog. Though it wouldn't seem special when you're watching it for the first time, but fast forward to 500 episodes later and you'll see that Luffy was able to hear the thoughts of animals like the Big Sea Kings. His ability was overshadowed by a cute chopper who could literally talk to the animals. You might be aware of Ryu, the ability to hurt something from the inside without touching it. What if I told you that this ability was shown back in chapter 597 when Sentomaru deflected Luffy without even touching him? Oda's brain must be hurting from thinking all of this stuff beforehand, but that's what makes me appreciate the guy more. Speaking of chapters, he was revealed in chapter 7 that some pirates had joined the marines to be spies, and this made sense in Punk Hazard, where we came across Virgo. Yep, he's the guy who always had some sort of food item on his cheek. Oda went crazy with this one. He was told that a person visited Drum Island and it didn't snow that day. What does this mean? Drum Island is a place where the snow doesn't stop, and so it was later revealed that the person was none other than Ace, and the part where it doesn't snow gives a hint to his fire powers, which he would later show in One Piece. And finally, in the last one, I'll mention Pirate Island, and I believe that shit will go down there in the future as well. The island was revealed in chapter 925. Well, that's because it was easy to notice, but we got to know about it when the Davy Back fights were taking place all thanks to Robin, who mentioned that these fights were invented in Pirate Island. Oda is a genius at foreshadowing, and I might as well reach out and ask what my life will be like, but... But anyway, how many of these signs were you aware of already, and how many secrets and easter eggs did you find in One Piece? Here is a video of 99 secrets in One Piece to check it out.